Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm installing two 180 watt solar panels to the back of my trailer instead of on the roof, why I decided to do it that way, how it's gonna work. They're gonna tilt, there's gonna be a lot going on. So we're gonna go through the installation process, how I hooked it up to the Battleborn battery setup inside the trailer and how the tilting mechanisms work. So stay tuned, hope you get a lot out of the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Let's get into the install. So along with the two solar panels, Bouge RV sent me two packages of the tilting brackets assembly. So this is one box and we'll take this apart, hook it up to the solar panel, and then we'll drill holes in the back of the trailer. Okay, instructions, these are the brackets and all the hardware. These two are the supports that actually hold the things in place and these are the actual brackets that install to the back of the trailer and to the back of the solar panel. So some of the holes will need some reinforcing. They just go through the aluminum. So I'm gonna put some, some wood bracing behind there. Okay, so this is the solar panels installed on the back of Eddy. These adjust quickly so you can tilt the angle and adjust the angle of the solar panels when you need to take care of that. And obviously they fold flat and secure here, so it really is a nice compact way of uh, transporting the panels with me all the time. I like the fact that they're protected, they're not gonna get covered in snow, they're protected from the wind, um, so there's lots of advantages of that with, that I've gone over. So the next step now, is the MC4 connectors. There's a male and female on each panel. I'm gonna be running the panels in parallel. So what I'm gonna be doing is installing two of these uh, entry glands, probably about here. And I'm gonna to have to determine how much wire I leave out to give the panel the ability to kind of swing in and out. I'm gonna use VHB tape to secure these to the aluminum. And the nice thing about that is you won't really see these when the panels are down, so which will be most of the time, right? So um, these will pretty much be invisible, but they are waterproof so that they'll come in here. The, uh, the panel wires, so there's gonna be four wires running into the trailer, and at that point, I'm going to uh, combine them into two wires, a positive and a negative, and they're gonna run to the MPPT charger, and that will be how it hooks up to the system.
Sorry, buddy. I just I got some silicone on here. I just saw you. Would you mind handing me my knife? No problem. Thank you so much. No, no, no. <laughs> Thanks, it's buddy. It's all good. <laughs> Sometimes I get myself in trouble here. Do you need anything else? No, no. I just Seriously? needed this to peel this stupid tape off. No Thanks, buddy. I really, I really oh, appreciate. It. Sorry to interrupt your no, run. No, 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 please. It's funny, actually. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're gonna be in the video. Okay. I needed my neighbor's help to get that done. I'm not a big fan of working with silicone. I always make a mess usually. Okay, so I'm using the VHB tape as adhesive, the silicone on top as adhesive, but also to keep the water out. Um, so that's my theory behind this. Let's see how it works. So there we go. Silicone there, VHB tape there. And I think we got a pretty good bond. Yeah, the silicone up top. That's gonna be like that. No, that's not half bad. So I left a little more wire out that I really need, so I'm gonna trim that back. This is actually, let me trim this back to about here. Cut this back to here. Okay, so positive is this one. So I need to put a female end on the red. That's how that'll go. Release that. Perfect. It's a bit of an art to doing these crimpings. Definitely pays to have the tool. I tried to get by without um, buying the crimper, using one I had and I could not get it done properly. I don't know what it is about these ratcheting ones, but they work. Okay, I'm not going to plug these in just yet, even though it's raining and there's really no sun reflecting on the panels. Um, just wanted to show you how these install, fairly simple. It is important to get that crimper tool. Um, unfortunately, I didn't want to buy it, but I ended up having to because, it's, like I said, I couldn't get it done properly. But just using it now, very simple to use, and you get a good solid crimp. I'm not going to go through all this work and not do it properly. So these are basically just quick release. And um, what's going to give me a nice option here is if I ever want to run an extension, I'm not sure how far I can run um, 10 gauge wire for the solar panels. I could in theory take the solar panels off here because they come off nice and easy and run a longer cable if I was in a pinch and needed to get some direct sun and uh, charge up my battery. So that'll be an option down the road, I'm sure. Okay, when it's time to uh, fold them down and hit the highway, just take off the support brackets. Fold down there. There's enough room that the wires don't have to cram too much behind the panel and the trailer. Lots of room in there. These go in because it's a uh, wing nut. It's uh, it's easy to tighten up.
So I had the bed platform pulled up so you can't see the wires running anymore. But you know that we have two sets of wires coming in from the panel. So we have each panel has a positive and a negative, so a red wire and a black wire running through the wall into the trailer. So what I'm gonna do now is take both positives, so both red wires from the panels, they're gonna go into here, and we're gonna have one red wire coming out of here, and this will go into the breaker, the wire that runs to the breaker. So that's how we're gonna go down from four wires to two wires. So I'm just gonna crimp the ferrules onto here, install them just like I did the MC4 connectors on the panels, and then that will be it for running the wires to the breaker. This is awkward, I was hoping to show you. So basically I've got the connectors on now, and all I'm gonna do is plug in the wires from the panel to the wire to the breaker. So obviously I need to attach them to uh, the wall and it's kind of secure, but that is basically the idea there. So the wires from the solar panels will go through here, come out there, go into here, and then from there go into the battery, or to the, uh, from there into the Lynx distributor and charge the batteries. So this is my setup. Ignore the breaker box, it's a work in progress. But I've tried to keep it as tight as possible utilizing the least amount of spaces I can and where these two things will be going will be right here have this here the breaker is going to go here so the door can flip up so, so now wires from the solar panels. I'll, I'll drill some holes into the to the wall here so the wires, you can see that, the wires will come out. I'll drill some holes there so the wires from the solar panels will come out there. They'll go inside the box through the top of the breaker and then the wires coming out of the breaker will come out there into the MPPT controller and then I'll hook the MPPT controller to the Lynx distributor. Now this is unnecessarily waterproof, but a little bit of overkill is not a bad thing. These grommets actually make it nice to keep the wires in place. So what I'm going to do now is run 10 gauge wire, positive and negative. These are eventually going to be hooked up to the solar panels. They're going to be going through here.
So that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. This was meant to just show you the installation of the solar panels, um, why I put them on the back as opposed to the roof. If I didn't cover it in the video, it's because I have canoes that I carry on top of the trailer. I couldn't engineer a rack on there that I was happy with that could accommodate the canoes and accommodate the solar panels without bringing the height of the trailer more than what I wanted. So once I got the idea of putting them on the back, I realized there's so many other advantages. They're protected back here. There's not going to have snow accumulate on them. And overall, I think it's just a nice sleek design and, and I wasn't going to use this space for much else anyway, so it works out perfectly. So make sure you subscribe because in a future video, I'm gonna go over the entire electrical system of the trailer, uh, the batteries and the solar panel installation will be in there and I'll get more into the technical uh, specifications of the solar panels and the wiring and the wire gauge and, and all that good stuff. So um, hope you liked this video, give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe so you can see a future video and how all the electrical system came together and how a guy with absolutely no experience was able to make it work. So thanks for watching. Cheers. We'll see you in the next one.